So I've come in and on this hook, just for the sake of example here, I've got some olive vivas body quill, I've got some dark brown thread, and I've got some bigger uh, white thread. Um, and the purpose really is just to illustrate here with this stretch tubing, how the material underneath it uh, affects the visual appearance that you get. So this tubing, as I said in the post above, comes in different colors. This is an olive tubing, and it has a pretty high amount of transparency to it. But the material that you pair it with is really, really important as far as the end visual result. Uh, allows you to do some cool things as far as catering to insects in maybe your local area. So as I go to wrap this, tension is really important. If I take the first couple wraps here with not much tension at all, you can kind of see how that diameter goes. If I start to really tug and to pull down, you can see the tubing stretch. But what it's going to do is it's going to thin that out. It's going to reduce the diameter of the material that goes on to it. Another thing with uh, stretch tubing that's really easy to do as you come around and wrap, so it's really easy to leave gaps. And so as I come around, I always try to kind of wiggle back toward the previous segment, and that just ensures that I join them the way that I want to. So we're over the white thread here, and you can see how it's kind of a lighter color, a lighter olivey color. And then once I start to come over the dark brown, just because of the nature of that material under it, it alters and pretty drastically changes the appearance. Same tubing, just different undercoat. And then as we come back onto the olive vivas body quill, you get even a little bit more difference, a little reflectivity under that. So pay attention to the tension. Make sure you monitor your wraps as you lay them down. And really have some fun mixing and matching the materials that you lay underneath that stretch tubing.